What's up, everyone, and welcome to the SCN on TV podcast for Big Brother season... 16. Yeah, that. 16, <laughs> episode 32, uh, for uh, September 4th, uh, 2014. I'm your host, Dom, a.k.a. Zach, uh, and with me we have Luke Skywalker. Welcome to Big Brother. And Erica. Hello. St. Uh, Louis Carmels. <laughs> How's it going, guys? No Hydra. <laughs> okay, hi, Bert Ernie. Everything is going fabulous. Another short, uh, short day at work at the first job today, and make that my 10-year anniversary that I've been at my first job. Wow. Congratulations. Yep. 18 years. I was there since I was 18, and now I'm 28, 10 years later. Nice. Nice. Uh, I know this has nothing to do with Big Brother, but if we may make that announcement at the passing of Joan Rivers... Yeah. Very sad. First Robin Williams and now her. Yep. Very sad. Indeed, indeed. She was she was quite the funny lady. She sure was. Um very vile and vulgar, but she was very funny. <laughs> and I think that's, that's what made her that's what made her a success on television and on QVC and her comedy. Indeed, indeed. Yes, as a as as a famous podcaster once said the rest of her finally died. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that, I, I Who would that say such a thing? I saw that and I never understood it. Because <laughs> of all the plastic in her face. Yeah. Right, right. Oh, so, right. Because didn't she have plastic surgery? Way too much of it. Wow. And then somebody Another else. Story. Somebody else on my friends list made a Bicentennial Man reference to it. Oh, oh God. That's awful. Um, okay, so for those of you that normally watch our show immediately following the Thursday episode, uh, we're doing it the day later, and from now on, all we're doing one show a week instead of following all the... We, we cut out the Sunday show originally, we were doing Wednesday, Thursday, due to the schedule change for Big Brother, which now airs when, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday live show. Will you excuse me just one moment? I'm sorry, guys. Hey, how you doing? How are you? Hey, how you do- oh my god. Sorry guys, this is my best friend. I'm doing the podcast. Oh you want to join it? Yeah, hi. Yeah, this Hello. is another Big Brother fan. Is he okay to join us? Sure. Uh, no. I just <laughs> love having random doorbells ring in the middle of the show. Hey, what's going on? Right. Holla. Uh, holla. Jared's uh, another Big Brother fan. What, what's his name? <laughs> what was your name? Jared. Jared. Yeah, Luke got me started. I never watched it before until this season. Welcome. Sorry, I'm eating a you have a. Yep, we're live right now, so you can't. Do you have a way to sit down? <laughs> uh, do you want to? You want to? Uh, I'll uh, kneel. Are you that's, sure? That's going to be really awkward for you hunched over like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. So normally we do our show on Wednesday, Thursday, but because Thursday is now being bumped off Tuesday, Wednesday, we're just going to do the show still Thursday, one show a week now. Um, so. Uh, basically, last night, right, we we had the double eviction. Double eviction, right? Double eviction. You didn't see that, right? I did. I saw last night, and I really liked Christine. I was sort of yeah, sad. Yeah, I was sad when she left. She hugged nobody on the way out. She like was She was so pissed mad. off at everyone. She was, she was the so first mad. house guest I've ever seen to get booed <laughs> as she was walking <laughs> out. That was crazy. What was all that about? I was Probably so the, the whole boyfriend infidelity yeah. Yeah. stuff but yeah, it's like cause... give the girl a break like she was just playing the game you know i mean there was no cheers for her at all it no was like one. clap no, clap really. no 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 and uh, then like several cheer. boos i mean that was just horrible they like, even, even the heard, house it. heard it yeah they heard yeah. it inside the house and they were like i think we made the right choice <laughs> yeah they're like she's getting slammed out there <laughs> <laughs> oh. she is then they overhear that and you know something for some odd reason, Frankie was way ahead of them during the veto competition. Everybody on Facebook is saying that the game is rigged for him to win. Mm. Yeah, there is a petition going around to uh, evict Frankie out of the house. I did see. I think he may. I think it's going to come up soon. Because I mean, Derek. I mean, look at De- I. I the puppet master. Someone needs to get after Derek. He's just. He's going to win. He's. I think you know, and yeah. I don't really want him to win. <laughs> Who do you want to see win? I like. I really did like Christine for some reason, but I know. So did I. But I sort of don't want any. I don't know who's going to win. I just think it's it's interesting the whole show. I've never seen it till this season. Yeah. So, um, surprised to no one, Nicole left. No. Yeah. That, that was not a surprise at all. Yeah. They should have added a dialogue in that said, 
Nicole, for the second time, once again, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. <laughs> what do we think this button is, I wonder? Oh. It's a rewind button. Yeah, the, it's, the game. A, it's a rewind button. If they push it, it's going to reset the game. And what it would do is whatever happened in the house this past week, come the live show, none of it actually happened. And they start the week all over again from scratch. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. So. I have a feeling. You know what? It's bound to happen because in every season, at least when there's a twist, like, for example, Pandora's Box from the previous seasons, it's been opened ever since I've been watching it. Pandora's Box has always been opened. It's so tempting. Yes. How can you not open it? It's, exactly. So, obviously, somebody is going to, either one or all the house guests are going to be tempted to push that button, and the game is going to be reset right back to where it started. The, the, yeah. the fun thing, though, is is they don't know what the button does. They just know it's a button. Yeah, they just know, here's a here's a button. It says game on it, and are you gonna push it or not? Mm. <laughs> and then they even that's, they that's... even had to taunt the house guests to saying, you know, it only takes one of you to push it. <laughs> this is right. true. This is true. This is, yep, it is true. It's but... so tempting though. It's like how can you not push it? It's like you sit in a room with a big red button that says "Don't push me." How can you not push right. that button? Yeah, I mean that, but that's giving off the temptation in this game. I mean, right? In all honesty, I mean it's like crazy. I mean, you know something else? Um, now, now uh, talking on another note here, how do you think Nicole's going to react when Christine enters the jury house? I think she's going to be happy. She's going to be <laughs> happy. She's going to be like she didn't win. You know what? I'd like to see what's going to happen if Christine's husband is at the finale, if they're going to make a thing out of it, because, I mean, she talked like, you know, in like, during her eviction interview with Julie Chen, she was like, he was just a very good friend, a good friend, actions speak louder than words, honey. Right. Well, her, her husband, is that what he, Her husband, her, her So her husband was like, yeah, I, I hope yep. to see Cody at the finale so I could run my fingers through his hair. <laughs> sure, just one second, guys, hold on, could you open the door a second, maybe? Sure. Yeah, Ma, wait a minute. We're at the live podcast right now. All right, we'll be there in a minute. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, we'll meet you there. It's crazy. I know. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, you will meet them there, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. It's okay, <laughs> we're there. Right. So, um. The veto competition. Or the. Uh, no, the. Not veto competition. What was it? The. Did they have a competition? They had something going on. What was going on there? Veto one. It was the, the quick. It was the, the, was the, 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 the word. Remember the kiss that Donnie or um. It was the the bleep. What the, the oh yeah word. yeah the blurred out word the bleep. Which I yeah. can't believe they all got wrong. It was so easy. That was really easy. I thought. Well, yeah, but, but getting back to the veto competition from previously, we forgot to mention the explosion competition, the dynamite competition. We talked about that on our last show. last night. The last time. Yeah. Oh yeah, we did. I'm sorry. We yeah. That so out. the the what the bleep that was what the head of household competition. Yeah, that was head of household. Yeah. yeah. And Derek so, was the one that won it. Yeah. Do you have, has there ever been a competition before that's been won on the first question? No. Not that I remember. No. Not that I remember. Not 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 even when they were intentionally giving it to somebody <laughs> has it gone in the first question. Well, Derek claims that he has a photographic memory, which I don't doubt, but. If that is the case, then that's just uh, like a very good example of why he does, because he was the only one in the house that remembered that. I guess it was a trick, too, because afterwards you sort of heard them say, oh, it was it was massages and kisses. And but the one that they blurped out was either the first or the second. So they all they, it was a trick one, I guess. But I yeah. just seemed weird that they all but one got it right like what? that. I think Caleb he corrected said, him and said it ended up being it was soft hands or something like that. Right? Yeah, so, that's what I think. Yeah. So the one that uh, the they all went true, right? And Derek was the one that went false, or was yeah. it the other way around? There, I think it was Derek. Yeah. Was yeah. The yeah, Derek was the only one that answered false, and everybody yeah. else so, said so. They all got dethroned. Yeah. So the question that Julie asked. Um, was never he never said that it was soft hands and yeah whatever the real one was i forget exactly um so then we don't even know what the head of household competition is going to be what do you guys think it is do you think it's going to be an endurance competition i uh, think it's gonna which ones have we not seen yet we've seen uh well the questions we've seen we've seen like two endurance competitions mm -hmm. so uh, I have a feeling it's going to be another endurance competition. Yeah. 
That's what I think. I, I, mean, I hope it's hard. Like, all of it. The last one with the so the sudsy water and the yeah. and filling the snowman. That yeah, seemed, sloppy the snowman was fun. That seemed ridiculous. That like, was probably that the most Caleb intense. Caleb was crying. Like, yeah, Caleb. Oh, yeah. And it seemed like it was more brutal than it has been on previous years. Mm -hmm. um, the slope just seemed steeper or something. I don't know what it was, but I, the house guests have never been that exhausted doing a competition similar to that over yeah, the previous you know something, years. Even though they time it, though, I have a feeling they stop in between to take a quick water break before getting timed back on again. Because I, I could go with that for, like, hours, you know what I mean? I could do it. Uh, oh, might, yeah. I have to. Yeah, they may have to. You want to win the competition, you know, he's Beast Mode Cowboy, and he pulled it through. And, by the way, for the record, Beast Mode Cowboy was so hot after that competition. <laughs> I love Beast Mode Cowboy, they, and I love Cody. They, I would love to see... I know, honestly, I would love to see Cody, either Cody and Caleb in the final four, or Derek and Caleb in the final four, in the final two. I'm sorry, final two. Right. Can we talk about Victoria for Victoria. a little bit? Please? Go for it. <laughs> Go for it. Well, I, I just like, I have a feeling, and it would be horrible. Like, what if she wins? It's just, it sort of blows my mind that she's made it this far into the game, and like, she's being. She's, uh, I'd love to see her win. I would love like, to see her win too. I have a weird feeling about her. Like, it just seems... You really think? I mean, I don't want it to happen, but... Who do you want to see well, you... make it to the end? Like, be crowned the winner? I don't know. I don't like, even... I don't. favorites are out of the house. Because they're all good. They're all so funny and unique in their own ways. It's... it's Like, I don't know. I want them all to, to win. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey. That, then that would be boring, though. It would be a different and show. And do you notice what Dom is wearing? Zach's hat. Oh, where'd you get that? Uh, Walmart. That's awesome. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I always say Dom and I are the next Zanky because he's straight and I'm gay. <laughs> I, miss, I miss Zach, too, in a way. Zach attack. He was hot. Where's Erica? Disappeared. Um, oh, she'll be back. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, I hope Victoria wins. I would love to actually see her win because she's done nothing in the house. <laughs> I think that yeah. would be the most Hilarious. hysterical <laughs> win ever in Big Brother history because... She literally has done nothing, and I could totally see, like, Derek becoming the final head of household, and he picks, you know, like, Victoria and Caleb or something. Yeah. See, I, under, under no circumstance can I see Victoria making it to the final two, though, because everybody left in the house are really good competitors, and Victoria can't win anything for her life. But it seems like they want Frankie gone more than, than her, you know, at least, um... Yeah. Like, I don't know, I feel like that could happen. Yeah, but you know something, Jer? I have a funny feeling Frankie's gonna win this because of his sister. I don't think so. I really... You really don't think Frankie's gonna make it? I'm... Uh, I don't think so. Do you no. like Frankie? As your opinion, do you like Frankie? I think he's entertaining and he yeah. adds to the show, but I'm sort of like... I mean, after he made the announcement about his sister mm -hmm. and Charity, I'm shocked that he wasn't, up, like, it, evicted right away. I right. think that's what saved him, to be completely honest. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It is crazy. If I if I was in the house playing, I mean, I would be skeptical. Like, I would still be skeptical, not knowing anything about him. Like, is he going to use this money for charity? Like, some people could just say, like, people could just say that they could be messed up in the head. Yeah, I don't know if if they if they push his reset button, somebody could potentially get screwed over. Yeah. Because somebody like there, there's how many people left in the house now? Five. So there's five people. So one person head of household, two people on the block. That means there's only two votes left. So whoever goes on, there's only two votes left. So yep. um, get them evicted. So if they're all planning, like they, they get a head of household, they get nominations or whatever, they have it all set up to go. And the let's say the plan is to get Victoria out this week, right? What if by some freak reason... Whoever won the head of household, they push the button, it gets reset, and then Victoria wins head of household. Oh, <laughs> I can only picture who she's going to put up. I will I will be stoked or shit a brick if Victoria wins. Probably Cody. Away. and she, If she won, I think she put up Cody and Frankie. Yeah, but Cody has a pawn, I think, though. See, that's why Derek is so safe in this house, though, because Derek has a side deal with Victoria that he wants to take her to the final two. So Victoria wouldn't put... Uh, uh, Derek up there. Nope. I, like, we went over this last podcast. Like, there's not one person in the house that would put Derek up on the block. No, he hasn't been on Ex the block once this season, right? No. No, he, he said he hasn't. That was shocking. No, not once. I think 
maybe the potential like Frankie might. Frankie might, but in, in that situation, so Frankie and who? I mean, uh, okay, so Frankie's head of household. Co- uh, Caleb, I mean, uh, Derek goes on the block. Who's he gonna go up with? Caleb, right? So that leaves Victoria and Cody. Well, yeah, because to vote, they're not gonna vote Derek. Yeah, like it's not gonna happen under any combination. Derek is not leaving the house. Yeah, he's not. You know, some that's why I have a funny feeling Derek's gonna win. I just have that feeling. The only I way that I could see it happening is if Frankie puts uh, Derek up against like Caleb or Cody, and then is up. able to persuade Victoria to vote uh, Derek out, and then Frankie would br- be the tiebreaker. Yeah, like win the veto. Or no, in the... When oh, yeah. Next. The vote, because there's only two votes. The so if he could swing one of them to vote against Derek, then Frankie would be the tiebreaker vote. The that only would be the I... only scenario, but I don't see that... I don't see, see him being able to swing anybody. No. I don't even think Frankie would put up Caleb. I mean, I don't know. What, if Caleb and Frankie are like this right They now. are, but it's like... Frankie's he, quick to turn Frankie's on Frankie's a good bullshitter. Look what he, he did to well, Zach. Look what he did to the... Zach. Yeah, Zach. Hmm. His straight boyfriend. <laughs> I miss Zach. I, I know. miss Zach. Zach too. was the best thing that ever happened to the this. Yeah, game. when he left the house, I'll admit I was sad. I love his but his exit from the Big Brother house was priceless. The Fruit Loops, the Fruit Loop Dingus. I Fruit loved it. Loop dingus. Yep. Um Yeah, you guys have anything else uh, you want to throw out before we wrap this up? gonna be in the change of schedule is gonna be interesting yeah, yeah. that's a bit uh, that you know why they changed it because they can't compete with football just to say that for isn't the record. that that's so annoying though to me like i just that sports sort of i mean that's how american culture sports rule everything but like honestly i've gotten so used to the regimen of this tv show right. like i don't give a damn about football like right it's, well it's more not that they can't compete with it it's that they don't want to compete with it and yeah. i don't blame them because yeah. that's a significant amount of ratings because who like who's gonna get there you have one person in the house wants to watch football you have one person in the house that wants to watch a reality show which one do you think is gonna win honestly unfortunately yeah so. although there was a place in west hollywood that is a bar, and they have Big Brother like live eviction night at the bar. I was, you know, nice. sort of. That's really? probably one place in the country, but wow. that has it. Oh wow! See, they do cater to the the the, the gays and the they do <laughs> the reality show hosts. They do or they fans. Sh- they sure do. I love it. Yeah, oh. well, Erica, what are your thoughts on it moving to uh, Wednesday night? Uh Really, it just more screws up people without DVRs than anything. Oh, uh, yeah. That's you know, they're more DVR. They're more concerned about, you know, they got the rights to the Thursday night football, so of course they're going to bump it off, you know. Yeah. I mean, they did pr- cross-promote it right on the show, so. They did. Well, they've the, been promoting the competition it with all won. their shows. Yeah, the competition yeah, Frankie won on his own. So here's, here's another thing that, that CBS is kind of doing weird. You know, Big Bang Theory is the number one rated show on TV. Mm-hmm. You know, it's got more ro- more higher ratings than anything else, oh. like including football. Right. They're putting Big Bang Theory up against head to head up against Monday Night Football. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, did you see the cross promotions that they're doing for that too? They got the big. Yeah. I mean, the uh, Big Bang Theory cast in uh, football uniforms. Oh my yeah. God. Wow. With the guy wearing his cup on the outside. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Leonard. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Um, yeah, so I guess from now on, you guys will catch us on Thursday nights exclusively. We'll not be doing one every day of the show. So just tune in Thursdays live here on the YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, if you guys uh, have any questions, comments, feedback, leave them down below in the comments. And we will do our best to answer them on our next show. Uh, Luke, where can the people find you? On Twitter at Zupa23. Uh, Jerry, you have uh, somewhere? Twitter I, have or something? In- I have an Instagram, right. and it's uh, Wits About You. You want to spell that out for people that are. are... W I T S A B O U T Y O U. Like, Perfect. keep your wits about you. Perfect. I like it. I like it. I like that too. Uh, Erica, where can the people find you? On Twitter at Erica Rain 7 
Nice. You can find me on Twitter at Phenomenon, P-H-E-N-O-M-E-D-O-M, because I'm something like a phenomenon. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, you can find all of us and others on Twitter, Facebook, Gmail, G+, and right here on YouTube slash ASO TV Podcast for some more podcasts or some of your favorite TV shows. Till next week. See you guys later. From outside the Big Brother house, we're Team Lou Jarrett. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>